for me was really wanting to, to wanting to make a romantic comedy, and and really particularly wanting to work with Adam and Emily. Um, those those are the those are the three main things to try and make a, a, a the fourth would be to make a 90 minute movie sort of to try and to try and save everybody a little bit of time in their day and um, it, it, those those were the things those those were the sort of those were the those were the things that springboarded me to want to to write a movie and I think I had the thought of Adam and Emily and they seemed like a handsome couple to me. <laughs> Romance in the movies, wow. Well, it's very easy to fall in love with Adam, for a start. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was sweet. Right. Um, well, what, uh, Paul took me to l lunch at Arts Deli in Ventura Boulevard, <laughs> and um, I said I didn't want to cry and I didn't want to die. <laughs> and, uh, and, he, and he said, well, that sounded like a good idea, and I don't know. It was just, it it's, it didn't it didn't feel like a movie where I I had a thing that I had to do. I just had to be there and just be, love it, love being there and get you know just get into it. And uh, it was very simple, and it, you know it was it's it's very delicious being in a romantic film. It's it's lovely. It was the first time I've ever uh, kissed a girl in a movie where my uh, I was sitting next to my uh, girlfriend and she actually wasn't mad at me. She was like, oh. <laughs> that was a big, big, big plus in my life. <laughs> Punch drunk, I suppose, is a uniquely American phrase that describes the state of mind when you, when you, when you just, when you feel a little punchy. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, I think, an accurate uh, uh, word to, to describe falling in love. Yeah. The feelings I'm feeling are uh, respect. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I didn't really feel that. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I, uh, I it's nice to meet you all. I uh, I've enjoyed the food. <laughs> I had a nice sleep last night. And uh, oh yeah, no no no. I saw all you guys having uh, looking like you were partying, and I uh, I I watched the MTV <laughs> and uh, with my brother, and we had fun and a lot of good songs. We danced too, and. Uh, I do. I, I'm having a very nice time here, and I feel uh, I feel uh, very proud to be here. Thank you. I, I hope it's not a continuation of Magnolia. I hope it's really, really different. I hope I I think that um, um, I uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say because I'm not sure that I understand the question. <laughs> Basically, he was saying, why Adam Sandler again? <laughs> Can you elaborate on, no, on, on your attitude towards him as an actor then? I love him. I absolutely think he's the greatest. Um, and that's, that's really it. I just absolutely fell in love with him when I saw Saturday Night Live, and I love his movies, and I, love, I loved watching him. And really, just made me laugh. And, and he walks very funny, and his head is kind of funny, <laughs> and his ear is a little bit funny. That's right. <laughs> and uh, I haven't seen you naked, but that might be funny, too. <laughs> <laughs> they would throw me out of the country. <laughs> the clothes came off. Now, actually, uh, just to be honest with you, naked, it's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Lewis was uh, uh, one of my favorite comedians. I met him this year. He's a, a very sweet man. I did. I met him. I went to his show in Vegas, and he uh, tore it up for an hour and a half. And I went backstage and talked to him, and he was very nice to me. And uh, he's a big, big part of my life. I always, I always loved his comedy, and um, 
Actually, uh, my grandfather passed away uh, when I was a kid. And uh, that night, when all the relatives were coming home uh, to my house to pay respects, I was uh, somehow, it was like six hours after he passed away, I was in my room and I was watching a Jerry Lewis movie and I was laughing. And I remember my uh, uncle came in and said, how you doing, kid? And I remember looking at him and I said, good. And he said, are you upset about Grandpa? I go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and I felt very guilty about laughing and being happy during a Jerry Lewis movie, but uh, my father and uh, my uncle said that's what's what he's there for. Movies like that are there for to cheer you up. And that. So he's, been a, he's always been a big part of my heart, and I always think he's... Uh, I always love when a Jerry Lewis movie comes on. Pretty lonely sometimes, and... I know that I can sometimes, and so I go and write a movie so that I can be around people. <laughs>